let us learn how to determine the accuracy of our forecast. To determine the accuracy of a forecast, we can use three methods. Mean absolute deviation, mean squared error, and the mean absolute percentage error. For mean absolute deviation, we get the difference of the actual data and the forecast. We disregard the sign because we will be giving importance to the magnitude of the error. The summation of the error will be divided by n or the number of data. In this table, for example, we subtract data from the actual column with data in the forecast column. For example, 217 minus 215 equals 2. Do the same for the following data. We get the summation of the errors, so that's 22. And divide it by 8, that is the number of data. The mean absolute deviation is 2.75. A mean absolute error of 0 means there is no error in the forecast. This is the equation used for mean squared error. We square the errors and then we get the summation. The summation will be divided by the number of data minus 1. Given the same data table, for example, to get data under the error squared column, the data under the error column will be squared. So 2 will be squared, that is 4. 3 squared is 9, 1 squared is 1, and so on. The summation of the error is 76. It will be divided by 7, which is the number of available data, 8 less 1. We square, so we always get a positive number. And because squaring emphasizes large differences. So 76 divided by 7, that will give us 10.85. A smaller MSE close to 0 is preferred as it shows that your data values has smaller errors. Now for mean absolute percentage error. Mean absolute percentage error is calculated using the absolute error in each period divided by the actual, then getting the percentage by multiplying it with 100. We get the summation of the percentages and divide it by n or the number of data. So in the table above, 2 divided by 217, then multiplied by 100 is 0.92 or 0.92%. We get the summation, that's 10.26 divided by n, or 8, that gives us a mean absolute percentage error of 1.28. That is the average percentage of our error. This ends today's lesson. Please visit the Classwork section of our Google Classroom to access the activity. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless.